Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Roll the intro. In these last couple of months, we have been checking out the A500 Mini. We warned others to not update their firmware, as doing so would nerf an otherwise very capable system. It would stop access to Pandori, which already gave us ADF, even IPF, fixing video issues, changing controller options, so we could have two-player settlers or lemmings. Maybe you want to sit back and play C64 or ST. Let's face it, the Amiga version of OutRun sucked. So what if we could have our cake and eat it too? Introducing PCUAAE. Currently, if we update off version 1, we will get a few added features such as ADF support and hot crop. But if we use Pukwe, we can use the newest A500 mini firmware while keeping all of our options open. To install, we'll need a USB stick. We recommend the SanDisk Cruiser USB 2. We'll also use fake flash test. And I recommend you do this with any micro SD or pff, USB stick you buy, especially if you're playing around with firmware. This tool is free for download, links are down below. This will test your stick, ensure it's safe to be used, and should take under a minute. Once we know we have a good product, we'll format it with Rufus. We'll use the options non-bootable, MBR, any volume name, and then FAT32. Once you're good, hit start. We also recommend having a decent power supply that gives a reliable two amps. As a quick warning, make sure you've checked everything thoroughly. Now to download Pukwe, go to the GitHub and hit the latest release. It is important to note that you need version 1.0 of the A500 Mini firmware for this to install. Scroll down until we find the setup file. Click this, allow it to download to your computer. Pukwe, how would you say that? Pusse? Maybe Pusse? Pusse, yum yum. <laughs> You're right, John. Let's just call it Spanner 500. Click run. Read, then accept if you wish. For destination folder, select your USB stick. Holding my stick now. I am right-handed. Then push OK. Shake it, Beverly. <sighs> now extract, then go make a cup of tea. I will carry on servicing my stick. If you wish to install some optional features, browse the assets on GitHub to find these optional packs. There is an Atari, Linux, and Vice pack and the installation is exactly the same. We download and install it to the same USB stick. If you wish, you can also install Pandori to the system too. If you want to know what this can do, please check the link up top. To download, we either use the torrent or direct link, then extract this using WinRAR to the same USB stick. The soft mods like AGS2 or Aminimiga can also be installed the same way. Collecting Power Ranger toys is fun. I have an army of them at my disposal. If you get this window, press replace the files in the destination. Once all files are extracted, right click on the USB stick and then eject. Once the A500 Mini has started up, insert the USB stick, navigate to the A500 Games folder, and we go to Spanner 500 Startup. Pussy needs a lick. Yum yum. Allow it to do its thing. Then we will have the option to turn on auto boot mode. Hit yes and let it restart. Now it looks like nothing's changed. I mean, if we check the advanced options, and then system information, we can see that it's still on version 1.00. But if we get our CD32 pad, and hold these two buttons, the screen will turn off, and then it brings up the blue screen. This will perform a few checks, and then we'll be given an option to select which carousel we wish to have. This system loads up from the USB stick itself. Potentially, we can have multiple here, including, if available, custom firmware. Now we've selected a different firmware, it loads it straight up. We can verify this by checking the options, and there it is. Whenever the system is turned on, and you have this USB stick inserted, it will load up the system that you have selected. Let's give this a quick test. From this firmware, we should be able to load up ADFs. We can see them in the media select screen, and we also have more options in the game settings. 
Let's see how well Jim Power runs in A500 and fast cover setting set to on. We can see it's slightly better than stock, but still not 100%. The sound is breaking up all over the place. Holding home and tapping Y, hot crop is working perfectly. Here's Lotus 2 and a bit of Super Frog. If we go back to the main carousel selection screen, we can have this USB stick load up to version 1.0, which gives us a great advantage of loading up Pandori. If we scroll over to the applications, we can go back to the menu or select Pandori 50Hz or 60Hz. There are also many other games that we can emulate using the system, such as arcade games, Metal Slug 3, And for Sega CD, here's Final Fight. If you prefer computers, we can have it load up C64 games. The great Gianna Sisters. Or play Jim Power on a different Amiga emulator. Less glitches and far more playable than on stock. There have been many comments on updating the firmware and the one that keeps appearing is I bought an A500 and it should only play Amiga. Well, what's the point if it plays like absolute arse? We will have our cake and eat it with Spanonix Pukwe. Closing off, here's a big thank you to all of those on our Patreon. You guys are fantastic and we appreciate all of your support. We're still making videos, guides and emulation bits, which we hope you enjoy. They always come to see me in my speedos. What? I've never seen you in your speedos. Only for the ladies. Oh, okay. And your mom. Dude. And my mom. I get all sorts of frisky in the holodeck, especially when it's karaoke night. Okay, so if you fancy joining us on the Discord, links are down below. This has been Emi Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!